Hi everyone. We're going to find all values of x, if any, at which the function changes sign on the interval. We're going to sketch the number line and indicate the sign of the function on each sub-interval. So let's go where they want us to go from 0 to 4. So let's draw that uh, sign diagram first. So we're going from 0 to 4. And now let's find our subintervals by letting x cosine of 2x equals 0. So for this piece, we have x equals 0. And then for uh, cosine of 2x, we also have x is 0. So let's look at two, cosine of 2x equals 0. So this happens at uh, pi divided by 2. Um, 3 pi divided by 2, and since we're going to 4, we're going to do uh, 5 pi divided by 2. And then when you divide by 2, you're going to have x equals pi divided by 4, or um, 3 pi divided by 4, or 5 pi divided by 4. All right, so our subintervals, we already have 0. So now let's look at pi divided by 4. 3 pi divided by 4. And uh, 5 pi divided by 4. All right, so we need to pick a, a interval, in a, a, a angle in here that works. So let's test one point at um, x equals pi divided by 8. So I'm just taking half of this. All right, uh, to do that, let's go ahead and plug it in. That's going to be pi divided by 8. Whoops. Times cosine, 2 times pi divided by 8 is pi divided by 4. And this is going to give you pi times square root of 2 divided by 16, which is positive. So we're going to put a positive here. All right, now let's pick an interval in between pi divided by 4 and 3 pi divided by 4. So we can, uh, let's check for pi divided by 2. This is going to give you um, pi divided by 2 times cosine of 2, um, and the 2 is going to be 2 times pi divided by 2 is going to be just pi. This equals negative 1, so we're going to get a negative pi. Negative pi divided by 2, sorry. And that is negative, so we have a negative here. All right, next, let's choose an interval here. And so let's choose uh, pi. So we're going to have pi times cosine of 2 pi. And that's just going to equal pi because this equals 1. And this is positive, so we put positive. And then between 5 pi divided by 4 and uh, 4, let's choose um, uh, Four. Let's let x equal four. So, because we can let it equal it. So, if we let x equal four, we have uh, four times cosine of eight, and that equals it's approximately negative. So, negative zero point five eight, which is negative. So, the function changes signs at. Um, Pi divided by 4, it goes from positive to negative. It also changes signs at 3 pi divided by 4 because it's going from negative to positive. And it also changes signs at 5 pi divided by 4. So these are the three uh, places where it changes signs. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>